um, forum signatures. Let's talk about forum signatures for a second here. Um, this is a signature, um, basically the same thing that that you would have on your on your email signatures. Just offer information or subject related to what your product will do for people. Um, your participation in the forum, however, needs to be genuine, and you must provide good information and just genuinely provide um, help for others. You know, most forums will just kick you out if you simply post something that is nothing more than a sales pitch. You know, the idea here is if you help someone with a problem, they will want to get to know you more. And since you're in a forum that deals with related a related subject of you know what your product does for your prospects, they're just going to see your signature and click on it. YouTube videos, same thing. Um, in the most successful successful videos that I've created deal with giving away free information on a subject related to what my product will do for my prospects. You know, for example, I I will create a video that tells people how to how to make a hole and you know reference my products my product as a tool that I use to make the hole. Um, you know, just like I tell people how to generate leads and stuff like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a link on the description box on the description box that takes people back to my site with more information and you know I hope that by now you're starting to see a pattern here that what you're doing with these mediums like YouTube and and others you're helping people without asking for anything in return blogging same thing follow the same guidelines as with video should be your blog should be about subjects that relate to what your product does for your customer uh, make sure that you're uh, you have like an authentic voice, and you know you can try and be entertaining if you want. But you gotta keep your blog posts about 300, 500 words. Um, you know, maybe hard to write at first, but once you get started, writing just gets easier and easier. And it's also good practice for writing articles and press releases. Now your blog should also include links that take people to other opt-in pages with more information. And again. I am emphasizing more information on opt-in pages. Okay, that is the whole point of this. Twitter and Facebook, you know, this is one that's really screwed up the most. Uh, writing a tweet or something on your wall on Facebook takes a few seconds, which allows for the marketers to just easily spam and play the numbers game. And instead of doing what everyone else does, you should use this to simply give tips on a subject that relates to what your product does for your customer. You should also engage in conversation, get to know your friends. They will gladly retweet your tweets and keep you on their pages where their friends can see you and in turn you will get new friends. Again, you should include a link on your bio section to take people to an opt-in page with yeah, more information and if you're going to include links in your tweets or your wall make sure that they're going to page that is helpful to your prospects and not just like an opt-in page so um, Squidoo you know Squidoo actually hates MLM but that doesn't mean that you can't write Squidoo lenses and actually what you should be doing on Squidoo is share your knowledge on your product and use this to generate leads based on people who are interested in the product not so much the business opportunity of your MLM and again just follow basically the same advice that's, that I've been giving um, just include links in your lenses and on your bio and again it should take people to other uh, pages with more information on your blog where they you introduce them to your company and stuff like that uh, free classified sites you know depending on your product you may be able to just simply advertise your product or service for sale as you know people who are in classified sites they're already looking to buy they're in the buying mentality and they don't need as much information they're basically pretty much ready to make a purchase however I have found that placing ads um, similar to my email form signature that offers more information it works just as well on free classified sites if not better so the idea with all these methods and best practices is that you're trying to position yourself as an expert and you're allowing people to come to you instead of you interrupting them with an unwelcome sales pitch. You're trying to avoid being like a pop-up window that everybody just hates and instead of having people, you know, instead of having people just seek you out. So, think about the person who picks up the newspaper and reads the real estate classifieds. You know, to my knowledge, no one in their right mind looks at the classified real estate at the real estate classified section unless they are planning to buy a home. 
So the people who go in there, they don't need to be convinced of buying a home. All you got to do is simply offer them more information on what your services will do for them and you'll be more likely to get a client than if you just try and convince them to buy a specific house or use your services. With that being said, if you want to get more information and training for your network marketing business, don't forget to visit my website at lasertargetedmlmleads.com. And please, please don't forget to share this video with your friends. Bookmark it, save it, favorite, leave a comment, leave your rating, and I'll be seeing you next time.